Uh, you want to do a reminder ad for those who sign up for a free workshop. What shall opt for the custom audience using up-to-date sign-up customer list or use website and plug in the thank you page URL? You use both. We, you see, I mean, uh, when it comes to two-step funnel, we do crazy things, right? But one of the important things that we can do is if you run a workshop, you can run a reminder advertisement to remind them to watch the video if there is something like that. So I would suggest that you use um, two things because if you just use the website sign up thank you page as in like the URL thank yous as in the pixel pickup as a complete registration or lead uh, captured, we might miss a certain percentage of those people who have opt out uh, from, you know, because of the iOS 14.5 update. If they choose not to allow tracking, we may lose them. So in order to play safe, to make sure that we reach as much, as many people as we can within the list that we are looking at, we will go for also, I mean, you can target two types. First is the people using the pixel event, the complete registration. The other one is to upload the whole list into the thing. So if you upload the list, you can actually update the custom audience from time to time. Now, when it comes to custom audience, one of the trick is a lot of people, every time they want to update an audience, like adding in new people or something like that, they go, they get change it. <coughs> they change it on the ad set level, which is totally a right thing to do. But you know, that will trigger learning. So what I always do is if the custom audience is already something that you can actually just tweak inside, we just tweak the custom audience, like changing the duration of a video, changing the, you know, updating the, the, the customer list, like, you know, the registration list and all that. It's a lot easier for us to do that. So I think that's how I would use it. Eloise?